Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to read for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for this is for the uh, second half of November. So November fifteenth through the thirtieth. Okay. So we're just gonna see what comes up for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Fifteenth to the thirtieth. Oh, yikes! Wreath, sorrow over loss. Whale, great worry over nothing. Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Cat, a two-faced friend. So you do have a two-faced friend here. Yeah, worrying over nothing, which I find that hard to believe, with sorrow over a loss. So, I don't know what this loss is. Uh, maybe it's your two-faced friend. That's probably the case. Um, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So that's good. You're on the right path. Maybe you shouldn't be worrying. You're probably going to be losing somebody, but maybe it's for the best. So what do we have for Pisces? Sorrow over a loss. So that's losing something that you're not going to be happy about. Because sorrow, you know, is sadness. So you do have a two-phrase friend. Somebody's talking behind your back. Um... Ooh, the high priestess reversed. Interesting. So the high priestess reversed is somebody that chooses to be single, wants to be single, you know, chooses to be alone, doesn't have a lot of friends, doesn't want to have a lot of friends, okay? This is a secret, though, that is about to be revealed. Somebody has also been ignoring their intuition. They haven't been listening. Somebody's intuition has been telling them to do something, and they haven't been listening to it. Okay, and there could be some regrets for not listening to that intuition. Um, there's a lack of knowledge here. So we have somebody here that is not very spiritual, that is lacking, you know, intuitive knowledge. Ooh, end of a partnership here. Mm. Two of Cups reverse, that's a separation. It's a separation or an, it could even be an argument. It could just be a disconnection, disharmony, an imbalance, right? Could be losing a friend, you know, um, or a partner. I mean, that that's, and it's right next to sorrow over a loss. So there's, there could be a partnership that is, you know, somebody could be becoming single, okay? You know, this is a separate, that's what it looks like to me. Um, and it could doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a friend because we have a two-faced friend here. So there, there's there's going to be a loss of somebody that you were connected to at some point. Emperor reversed. I don't know. Could they be, you know? It could be a, uh, somebody that is in a position of authority. Now these readings can always go vice versa. The emperor in reverse is somebody that deserts you in the time of need. This is somebody that doesn't care, uh, doesn't want responsibility, uh, not very experienced, controlling, tyrant, narcissist. All right. So we have somebody here that is not interested in helping. They are power hungry and they're only looking out for their own good. This is somebody, maybe a bully. You may be dealing with a bully. It could be you. I don't know. Like I said, these could go vice versa. It's a very masculine energy. So there is somebody that is very controlling, very, uh, this is like a tyrant, you know, um, that deserts you in the time of need. So I'm not sure if you, uh, I don't know what this loss is. It could be a husband, could be a father, could be a boss. Um, whoever this loss is, it's, it's a loss of, an individual that um, was probably very, very um, controlling, you know, maybe obsessive, you know, obsessive compulsive. There's definitely going to be a separation of some sort. 
somebody is going someplace they're traveling all right they're traveling they're moving they could be packing up leaving um, taking a journey somebody is taking a journey they're leaving everything behind ready to face opposition uh, no fear replacing replacing that fear with faith finding the determination to leave so somebody's leaving and they are somebody is absolutely leaving okay they're ready to go they are ready to go this person has no energy left it's like they don't want to fight left they don't they don't want to fight anymore you know i'm done fighting i just want peace you know so you may be unaware that this separation is coming but it is This is regrets. That's extreme regret. So somebody's going to be having regret, regrets for not helping. This is not helping, you know, for not uh, seeing something. Somebody's going to be having some regrets. Um, that's despair, feeling guilty. Um, no hope. Why is this happening? Why, 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 why? That's the star reversed. Why is this happening? I feel like your faith is definitely going to be tested. Um, I think there's going to be some some sadness with that Nine of Swords. There could be some even... I wonder if there's somebody feeling ashamed. Somebody could be feeling ashamed. Um, ashamed for, of, for not um, helping, whatever that means, because of the, they didn't help. You know, the star is about help in the upright, help arriving, not helping. Somebody may be feeling guilty. For not helping, they're or found guilty or feeling guilty. We have somebody here that is not very intuitive, that doesn't listen, you know, that isn't very spiritual, that is totally lacking awareness. Um, asking why this is happening. Everything does happen for a reason. Somebody is leaving your life. I don't know who, and I don't have that card, but it feels like feels like that's what this is. Or sorrow over a loss, you know. Um, There's definitely lack of spirituality here, too, with these two cards. We have some sort of arrogance. We have somebody here that is very, very arrogant. That is not seeing something about a partner partnership. They're not seeing maybe there's some sort of illness. They're not seeing something. Hmm. Whew. Six of Cups reverse. This has something to do with your past. This has something to do with your past. Somebody in the past. This is freedom from obligation. Packing up and leaving home. Somebody is, is, is packing up. They're leaving. Nothing stays the same. Okay, nothing stays the same. There's going to be a lot of reminiscing. There's probably going to be a lot of tears. Somebody may have been hoping for some sort of reunion or something, but there's no chance. Okay, there's no there's no chance now. Um, the star reversed. That's um, lack of success. Something not being successful. Um, Memories of the past, clinging to the past, feeling hopeless, um, leaving the past behind, moving away. Somebody's moving. Somebody is moving away. Um, and I do see sadness over that. Um, they're taking a journey. They're going someplace. That chariot is is controlling emotions, finding the discipline, working really, really hard. You know, somebody is is finding their ability to go, to go somewhere. They're getting in the driver's seat. They're they're leaving. Somebody is leaving. Two of Pentacles reverse. Now that is lack of planning, unplanned, unplanned. Hmm. <laughs> 
Hmm. This is definitely a loss. This is a mess. This is no contingency plan. Somebody is overwhelmed. They're biting off more than they can chew. And it's like they're about ready to, you know, crash. Whatever the hell that means. Two of pentacles reversed. Upheaval. There's going to be some sort of upheaval. Unplanned. Unplanned loss. <laughs> Unplanned loss. That is the meaning of the card. <laughs> Unfucking believable. So yeah, there's going to be an unplanned loss. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it may have something to do with somebody from your past because that is a six of cups reversed. So somebody that you have a lot of memories with, um, missed opportunity, lost opportunity, unplanned, unplanned. Why is this happening? The star card is why is this happening? There could be a loss of money as well. Loss of financial abundance. Something. I don't know what it is. It could be a loss of money of some sort. It could be. A loss of money. Um, there could be a change of some sort. With that two of pentacles. Why? Why is this happening? Feeling guilty. Sad. Depressed. Over this loss. I don't know who this loss is. Um, it could be a thing. It doesn't have to be a person. It could be a thing. A loss of something. Something you could touch is going away. You aren't going to be able to touch it again. You know? You aren't going to be able to hold on to it. It's going. It's leaving. Okay? Something is leaving. It's something that you once had. You once had it. Now it's leaving. Three of Pentacles reversed. Lack of communication. Lack of respect. Unable to work together. Lack of harmony. Um, unprepared. Unwilling. Unwilling to cooperate. Somebody's been as unwilling to cooperate. They're unwilling to learn new things. Unwilling to listen. Somebody's unwilling to listen. They're unwilling to. Um, create unwilling to to budge so there's going there's some sort of unplanned loss here um i don't know if it has to do with a i don't know if it has to do with a business it may have to do with a business it could be revenue um whatever this is you're on the right path you are on the right path or that card wouldn't be here why is this happening it's happening because somebody hasn't followed their gut. They haven't followed their intuition in regards to a partnership. They haven't followed their their intuition in regards to a partnership. They need to take charge. They're going to, uh, and it has to do with somebody from the past. This may be karma. This may be karma. There's going to be some sort of huge loss. I feel like it's in the pocketbook. I feel like it's in the purse. I feel like the loss is in... And you're, I don't think it's a person. I mean, it could be. It could be. I feel like it's a financial loss of some sort. Um, and maybe, maybe somebody has missed an opportunity with somebody that, you know, is financially stable. But I don't know. That star card reversed is a test of faith. And somebody is, is, is not, uh, there's a lack of faith here. There's a lack of hope. Very doubtful. Somebody is very doubtful. And that's something very doubtful about stability. There's definitely some instability here, a lot of it. Um, there's unstable, there's imbalance, there's a lot of imbalance. We, somebody's in an unbalanced relationship, partnership, where 
you know, there's a, there's inequality. It's not equal, and there's a need to to take charge. There's a need to get out of there. There is, anyhow. Um, there's a lack of teamwork. There's a lack of togetherness. Therefore, there's going to be a lost, a loss. Okay. Um, looks like it's a loss of money to me. With the two of pentacles reversed, the ace of pentacles reversed, and the three of pentacles reversed. Okay. A loss of financial stability in some way. You may be losing some sort of financial stability. Okay. Whatever it is that you're losing may also cost you some money. Put it that way. Whatever it is. You, like I said, up there we have a two-faced friend. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody or maybe you even live with somebody that is two-faced. And maybe they're just using you for your money. Anyhow, um, three of pentacles reversed. That is not on the same page. Not on the same page with somebody. You could even be in a third party situation. You need to you need to refocus. You need to focus on something. You could be dealing with somebody who is communicating with somebody from their past. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles reversed. So that is somebody who is money hungry. Money hungry, you know, this person doesn't have anything to offer, doesn't have a lot of money and needs somebody else's. So we have somebody here that is very, very uh, greedy, very, very selfish, taking, taking money, taking money that isn't theirs. I feel like this greedy individual is going to be the one that is uh, losing, whoever this greedy individual is. Um... Very, very shallow, very um, superficial. Right, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Overly materialistic. Money grabbing. So we got this money grabbing fortune hunter right here. That's what it is. This is a money grabbing fortune hunter that is about to experience a huge loss. Loss of money. Hmm. Ooh, karma. There is some sort of karma here. Some sort of truth. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. I feel like there's some poor health as well. And there is definitely a shame to being ashamed. Somebody is going to be feeling ashamed. With the, with the star reverse, the nine of swords, and this judgment. This is a poor judgment card. Guilty. You know, there's some sort of doubts here. There's there's not listening. Somebody's not listening to their to their to the higher call. Definitely with that high priestess. Somebody isn't answering the higher call. And they're going to be judged. There could be a judgment that isn't going in your favor, and I don't, I don't know who that is for, but somebody may be, something may not be turning out the way that you thought that it was going to turn out in the money arena. So anyway, Pisces, I feel like uh, this is a poor judgment call, making a mistake. Somebody is making a mistake. They're not listening. They're not listening. They're not listening to the higher power. They're not very spiritual. They're not listening to their gut. They're not doing the right thing. They're not acting with integrity. And they're about to lose something really, 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 really big. And whether it's you or the other person that you're dealing with, somebody is about to lose something big. There's going to be a separation of some sort. Somebody may be taking your money or you're taking theirs.
or somebody's being used for money. That's it. There's no love in these cards. I do see moving. I see traveling. Leaving the past behind. Oh, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, she's very, very truthful, very authentic, very, very communicative. You know, she communicates, she communicates the truth. Somebody's going to be hearing some sort of truth, and it might hurt. Uh, Queen of Swords is very honest, very authentic. She has the power in her hands. She's a professional, professional speaker of some sort. Somehow she plays a part in this situation she's got some sort of information so we have a very independent individual who has some sort of power this person has some sort of power Anyway, Pisces, I feel like at the end of the month, you are going to be losing something of financial value. It's almost like somebody's taking it from you. You know what I mean? This is a poor judgment call. Somebody has made a poor judgment call, and now they're going to be losing something of huge value. Um, good luck.